Ladies and gentlemen, Brochim Abaim Yerushalayim. Ibn Mabuana, Brochim Abaim Yerushalayim. Blessed are the arrivals in Jerusalem. But if you want to live on our city in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, also known as the city of David, is considered a holy city by Christians, Muslims, and Jews. For the Muslims, it is the third holiest shrine after Mecca and Medina. The Dome of the Rock is where they believe Muhammad ascended into heaven. For the Jews, Jerusalem is a sacred city and where they await the coming of the Messiah to liberate them. Jerusalem has the temple that Solomon built, and though the city has been destroyed and rebuilt numerous times, the link to Solomon's temple remains. Uh, we are in Jerusalem right now, we are standing. Uh, it is the place that the temple used to be, uh, and we've just had a, a prayer at the Wailing Wall, and uh, it's, it's been a wonderful experience to just be uh, at the holiest place uh, in the world. For those who cannot come and say prayers at the Wailing Wall, they send prayer requests into the cracks of the wall. These are known as tetzels, a tradition that is no longer a privilege just for the Jews. For the Christians, Jerusalem is the city where Christ was tortured, judged, sentenced, died, and resurrected. To be fully immersed in the experience, Christians recount the last days of Christ's life beginning with the Last Supper, the Garden of Gethsemane with trees that are believed to date back to the time of Christ, the place where Peter is said to have betrayed Christ as a cock crowed thrice, and they then follow his journey as he bore his cross via Dolorosa, ending at the point of his crucifixion, and finally, the tomb of his burial. The Garden Tomb Association is made up of Christians from many different denominations, deliberately so that no single denomination will dominate the, mon the management of this very special place. The Garden Tomb Association also ensures that no church building will ever be erected over the things that you see here, so that the evidences will always be open and accessible for people to see. I think I have deepened my understanding of the Word of God, having visited with my wife the burial place of our Lord Jesus Christ, where he was crucified and even seeing the resurrection garden. And I know that he is alive because there is an empty tomb in that area. For years, Beret Hasharon have endeavored to make these moments and memories special. This has not always been an easy task.